I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barras sent you back to me? I'm here to kill you. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barras sent you back to me? I'm here to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well, you have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. Hold on. Come to this, Tremel. Do not hedge now. This is the way of the Sith. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. Now, I'm amazed. I knew you were strong in the Force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death, but I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You're getting ahead of yourself. I only need your hand. What? Wait. I think I understand. Barris demands my hand. Proof of my death. I don't want your pity, Acolyte. It's not pity. I don't want you to die. I'm a credit to the dark side. My cause is just. You can see clearly, even if Barras cannot. Take my hand. <laughs> well, that didn't tickle. I'll rest and then leave Corriban covertly. Just be thankful you're not dead. Of course. Goodbye, Acolyte. Rid the Sith of that plague, Vemrin. My hopes lie with you. What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? I did what was called for. You mask your feelings well, as long as you don't suppress them. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory. And through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the code and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. You've made your point. I understand. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak Ord in the Valley of the Dark Lords and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. You... 
You did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb, and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. I didn't even break a sweat. That's all I needed to hear. Stop! I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shyrak. I barely escaped. I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other Acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. Well, why don't you flee? Get off the planet. Give up trying to be Sith. You can't get off Korriban without official clearance. I might be able to hide in the wilds, but I wouldn't survive long. Then be a man and try to get the shards again. I... I can't go back in there. I just can't. I've heard of a mad hermit in one of the tombs who welcomes failures from the trials. Maybe I'll seek him out. The prodigal supplicant returns. And with all the shards from the tomb of Tulak Horde. Superb. It seems your hopes have been dashed, Vemran. Appearances can be deceptive. Excuse Vemran, supplicant. He didn't take kindly to you turning those young acolytes on him, even though they were only untrained novices. That was a trick I learned from Vemran himself. I was just giving him a taste of his own medicine. The tension is thick between you two, a great source of emotion to feed on. I wonder what will happen when it boils over. You both stand on the precipice of becoming Sith. But only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vemran, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked. Better than any of the others. The honor should be mine. This is as it should be. Get used to being in my shadow. Today, Vemran is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. And there is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vemran, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant. Now, I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. You honor me. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasado, where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance. But there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the Forbidden Cave. You insult me, Barris. I do not need the help of a slave. You will not find the Forbidden Cave without her. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb, where Academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Naga Sadao is to breathe in death itself. Ouch! Give it a rest, will ya? I'm getting my fill of fun while I still can, slave. Ah, as if on cue, look who's back. Word is you might become Lord Barris's apprentice. Ah, nice work if you can get it. So, I hear you'll be relieving me of this Twi'lek. She's a pain in the neck. Ha! <laughs> Who's a pain in the neck? I'm the one wearing a shock collar. Huh. <laughs> Consider that a going away present, Twi'lek. Seems you might be useful for something after all. This bruiser is taking you into the tomb where we caught you. None of you can figure out how to activate the tomb statues to open the Forbidden Cavern, huh? You got some kind of business in that secret Sith chamber, do you? My business is none of yours. Here, kid. Take the shock control color. I'll set it to a higher level. Use it enough, 
She'll show you the back door to her mother's house. I suppose I can play tomb tour guide. A lot of work went into cracking that nut. But I did it once. I can do it again. So we're clear. I'm officially on strike when it comes to domestic duties. You'll do everything I require, and I mean everything. Don't get any twisted ideas in that sithy head of yours. Lead the way. I'll show you the unlocking point throughout the tomb, and then open the secret door for you. Hey, this is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern isn't here. Just let me get my bearings. Take your time, slave. Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I finish killing your new master. Can't say I'm surprised to see you, Vemrin. You're remarkably predictable. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. Becoming Barriss's apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity? Only to be proven unworthy? Don't be so hard on yourself, Vemrin. You have been a worthy opponent. Shut up! There is only victory or death. I refuse to live a, a lesser life. Finish me. I will not accept mercy. Wow. Nice work. Just find the Forbidden Cavern. I already have. See, the secret entrance is right here. You have been most helpful. It's nice to be acknowledged. Thanks. My father was a staunch traditionalist, and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Relax, Eskela. Your father is alive. That's a lie. Lord Barris has his hand. I mercifully took your father's hand instead of his life. 
What, you took pity on him and now he pretends to be dead? You may not be a murderer, but your mercy proves you're not Sith material either. I should inform Lord Barris, but I won't. No, let him discover your softness for himself. My directive is clear now. I must hunt down my gutless father and end his humiliation. Leave him alone, Eskela. Let your father live in peace. My father has shamed me. Destroying him is the only way to redeem my name. I'll be sure to kiss him on the cheek for you. Come on, boys, let's go. I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Venran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He tried and failed. Venran was nothing if not consistent. Bravo! I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. It took you long enough. Mind your tone, my young initiate. This is only the beginning. With you as my right hand, we shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Dromund Kos. Meet me at the Citadel there. As you decree, my lord. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Drummond Koss.